work me if you want. The first way to play AAA games on Android is using an emulator tool. So let's open up the Google Play Store and let's search up for, first of all, Dolphin. So Dolphin is a Nintendo Wii and GameCube emulator. And with this, you can play AAA games which released for the Wii, such as Call of Duty, you know, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare, uh, Reflex, Black Ops 1. All of those games will run and depending on the performance, they'll run at full speed as well. I'm not going to cover how to, you know, dump the games from your Wii, stuff like that, because that's just a whole other process. You will need to research how to get the games running in Dolphin. On top of this, you have Citra. Citra is a Nintendo 3DS emulator, so you can play the AAA Nintendo 3DS games with this. You also have Skyline. So Skyline, this is not in the Google Play, but if we just search up in a browser, I'll have the right link in the description. Um, I don't believe this is the right link. So the right link for the Skyline Switch emulator will be in the description. And uh, with that you can play, I mean, the latest Mario, the latest games you can play on that emulator. The next way to play AAA games would be with cloud streaming. So if we go to Xbox Game Pass, this is a monthly subscription. And with here, you can play all of the Xbox games you want. You don't even need an Xbox console. Okay, so you can play Fortnite, you can play Call of Duty, name the game. It will run with the Xbox Game Pass, but you do need to pay $10.99 a month. So that may be a little bit expensive depending on your needs. But the advantage of this over the emulators is the emulators require a very powerful Android phone. But when you're streaming, you're not actually running the game. You're basically just streaming a video because the Xbox servers are doing the game processing. So what that does mean is all the Android phones will have the better performance. But the downside with this is you have to worry about the internet because the worse your internet connection, the worse the performance. If you don't want to pay for streaming, you can either get the Xbox app or the PlayStation app. And with these apps, you can stream your Xbox or your PlayStation. You can do it remotely, which means anywhere from the world. And it's completely free, okay? Because you're using your own Xbox, you're using your own PlayStation. I believe with the Xbox app, you do need to connect to controller but with the PlayStation app, it will give you touch controls that you can play with. And those are the solutions you can use. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Please do check the description if you'd like to help support my channel. Bye-bye.